Hi guys, in this episode of Ray K, I am excited to be reacting to two Wannawe music videos. Those being the music video Still Here and the recently released first English release by them called Gravity. I'm definitely far more excited about Gravity than I am about Still Here because Gravity was just released and it's a song in English, I believe. The title track for their first full English album, apparently, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's just information that I've learned recently, so I'm not 100% sure, sure, but if there is an actual like English album release, I would definitely be excited to check that out, that's for sure. And I'm still continuing with my reactions to all of their albums, I haven't stopped doing that, some things have just taken priority over it, but we'll get there. I might get into that album before I continue with some of the other uh, one-away album reactions, though. Just so you know. But yeah, we still uh, uh, have to be checking out the song still here. And maybe that one's gonna turn out to be another hit for me as well. They seem to be kind of switching between doing a ballad and doing uh, an energetic title track. And I'm obviously a bigger fan of the energetic title tracks than I am of the ballads, so... I'm looking forward to getting at least one of these songs to be a more energetic and hard-hitting one. But before we get into it and find out which one of the two is going to be that, I do want to remind you that I would really appreciate it if you guys could help me out with my transition by donating to my Patreon or to my Coffee account. Because for those of you who didn't know, I'm trans and I need your help. And by doing so, you can also potentially get access uh, to one of the tires that I offer over there, which allows you to request K-pop reactions. So, yeah, check that out. Anyway, enough chit-chat, let's just get into the reactions. Starting off with Still Here in 3, 2, 1. Man, their vocals are so angelic. I love how soft it is. Makes me feel like I'm lying on a cloud in heaven. I'm actually falling in love with this ballad. I can't believe it, but I am. It's rare, but it happens, you know. It's like a really soft, heart hitting song, you know? You can still feel the structure of a hard-hitting song inside here. And I wouldn't be surprised if for the final chorus they slam you with that uh, instrumental. I really love how soft it is. Oh yes, I'm gonna be listening to this one. And potentially crying to it as well. I'm 
fact that they play instruments makes their instrumentals always so impactful and entertaining and I love it. I wish more groups, if not like were bands, at the very least, I wish more groups employed like instrumentals that are actually playing the instruments, not just uh, an electronic versions of those instruments. Because I feel like it makes these songs that much more impactful, those instrumentals and those instruments that they're using. Because I feel like, I, th I think I'll probably still kind of enjoy this song, even if it was done by, let's say, Wanus, not Wanui. Um, kind of implying that they're not doing the, uh, it with instrument, uh, with instruments. Uh, I would enjoy it if it was done with a, uh, by a group who does not play instruments, but there was, would definitely be something that would be taken out of the song by not having the, the instrumental be played by actual instruments, you know? There is something about that that makes this song that much more entertaining. And I love it. It kind of makes it feel more raw and makes the parts that hit hard hit harder. But it doesn't really ruin the soft parts because the soft parts are the vocals anyway. But yeah, I enjoy this song. It's so heavenly. It's so soft. It's so mellow. And I really like that about it. And I love how it kind of slows it, slowly builds up to a little bit more energy and a little bit more of a punch. It feels really satisfying because for the first half of the song you're barely hearing anything and then it just hits you hard it makes the heart it's like a drop in a chorus it makes that hard hit towards the end hit harder and i feel like they definitely could have hit harder uh, the, the direction in which i would have taken the song is genuinely like slowly build up to the point where the final chorus is like super explosive to the level of like uh rain to be or something but I'm still fine with what they did with it here. I think it's still enjoyable and practically perfect. Which is why I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. And if you're wondering why I'm not going to be checking out this song twice, it's because we're already reacting to one of these, so to one of these songs. I feel like it's going to be a little bit too much for me to check out both of them twice. Plus, I'm also expecting that Gravity is going to be the song that I'm going to have an interest to check out twice. So, yeah, I'm kind of biased towards it. Hopefully, I'm not going to be disappointed with it, but... I guess we're gonna have to get into it and see. But yeah, um, I don't think there's anything else I can give you about this song. It's a nice mellow song that I will definitely enjoy listening to, uh, even outside of this reaction. And I'll probably listen to because it's energetic enough uh, at a certain point to where I will feel uh, entertained by listening to it as I'm driving in my car or somewhere, which is where I listen to music the most nowadays. But yeah. Um, 10 out of 10, we still have to check out the next song, Gravity, so without further ado, let's get into Gravity in 3, 2, 1. I love the acoustic guitar. The pronunciation can do a little bit of work because I can barely understand what they're saying, but... Oh yeah, I love that instrumental. Oh, I love that visual effects. The after image is really cool. Oh. 
Instrumental is so funky, I love it. You can never go wrong with a guitar solo. Dude, like I said, I wish more K-pop songs had like live instrumentals like this. It makes songs so much more fun. Okay, we're definitely listening to this one a second time. Gravity. Nothing about the album though. Hopefully it's not just a single. Okay, so... My favorite song by Wannawe, I think, is Rain To Be. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I think the first song which really kind of... I mean, no, actually... Sometimes I really get confused with Wannawe and Wannas and which song was by, done by Wannas and which one by Wannawe, especially because I was aware... The first time I was aware uh, of Wannawe was with their uh, release for... Uh, for the song from their album called One. I, I don't know what the name of the title track was, but it was like a very energetic summary song and I really, really enjoyed it. Then they came back with a song called A Song Written Easily, I believe. And I enjoyed that one as well. But then they kind of... I forgot about them, weirdly enough. So then they came back, I think, with like Montage, I think it was called, or... Uh, what was the name of it? Give me a second to check. Um... Was that it? Yeah, that's the song which kind of s made them stick in my head for long. Uh, like permanently back in like 2020. And I really, really enjoyed that song. And I love that song as well. It's like a 20 out of 10 for me. Um, then I think came back. Uh, the next song of theirs that I really enjoyed was Rain To Be and Aurora, which is another music uh, music video released around that time. And then most recently there was the the single release which was promoting their tour or something that I really, really enjoyed. So there's a lot of songs from them that I enjoy, but Rain To Be is probably the best one for me up there with Montage. So the reason why I'm telling you this is because that's the thing that I expected this song to meet in terms of quality. And I don't think it quite met it. It's not to the same level of those, but I do think it's up there. I do think it's up there with some of the lesser songs, like their most recent release, which was with the promotion of that tour. I definitely enjoy it just as much. And it's honestly fine. Like, I enjoy it. It doesn't... Ha every song that a group releases doesn't necessarily have to be better than the last one. This one is perfectly fine, perfectly enjoyable. The only criticism that I realistically have for this song 
It's just the pronunciation was not great. But maybe I'm a little bit spoiled by the groups that I listen to who do release English releases having really good pronunciation. I mean, to be honest, the only groups that do release uh, English songs that I'm aware of the most are Stray Kids, Itzy, and Dreamcatcher. And all of them have really good English pronunciation. So, yeah. It's like comparing the most runners to like Usain Bolt or something. That's So it's not really much of a criticism, really. And I guess it could have been a little bit hard hitting, harder hitting, uh, closer to Rain to Be. But I'm still perfectly satisfied with the way the song is, honestly. I don't really have anything major uh, to criticize it about, about it. I enjoy it. It's fine. But still, we have one more listen to do for it before I say my final thoughts. So without further ado, let's get into it again in 3, 2, 1. I'm a gravity. I feel like I'm floating on cloud nine. You're my gravity. Lady wants something to let it talk to one I can't ignore. I really love the instrumental of this one though. Like for a first English release, it's pretty dope. And very funky as well. Honestly, at this point, one we belong with the best K-pop groups for me. They're definitely up there with Stray Kids and 80s in terms of how much I love their songs. Because the fact that they are the one doing this song is definitely making me love it. It's one of the reasons I love it. Because if it was any other group or band, I don't think I would enjoy it as much. I mean, I would enjoy the instrumental, but in general the song wouldn't work as well if it wasn't for the cool instrumentals that are done with actual instruments. Okay, we finally get a K-pop group that doesn't sell out whenever they release an, um, a song in English. I mean, there are some other groups who also don't do that, because I feel like, 
for example, Itzy's English release recently um, felt very Itzy-like for me, so yeah. I feel like nowadays groups are getting better in that regard, but still, I feel like it's f few and far between the groups that do not change their musical identity whenever they release English songs, and I'm glad that Wannawee is one of those groups. I love them for it. But yeah, um, I enjoy this song. Um, I definitely feel like there's more th that they could have done with it, honestly. Um, there's just something about the previous song that feels higher quality than this one. Because I feel like la the last one was like a 10 out of 10 for me, like I said. It was just so soft and so polished and so good, high quality. Whereas this one definitely feels a little bit more, I don't know, for lack of a better term, grungy. I don't know if that even means anything, it's just what it feels like. It feels like it's a little bit more run down and it's a little bit more rough around the edges. Which I think is the intention, because they're trying to give off a little bit more of a, like a laid-back attitude compared to some of their Japanese releases, which are like very top-notch. This is supposed to be a little bit more casual, and I think it works. I think it's uh, entertaining, but like I said, um, I feel I wish this song was a little bit more hard-hitting, more along the lines of rain to be um but we didn't get that so that is a little bit of an issue that i have with this song and it's just that if like i said if this song was done by a group and not by a band i definitely wouldn't have enjoyed it as much even if it was a group that i liked because the thing that makes this song for me is definitely the instrumental like the lyrics sound fine like i enjoy it but it's the instrumental which makes it entertaining for me so there's that. But yeah, in terms of rating though, I am going to give it a pretty solid 9.1 out of 10. For an English release, I think it's pretty good. It's definitely one of my favorites, but I'm not mind blown or anything, but it is a fun and enjoyable song and I really, really like it. And if there is an album uh, that this song comes with, which I think there should be, but I don't know what exactly they mean by an album. It could be a single, could be a bunch of songs and just English versions of previous releases. I don't know, but if there is, I definitely want to check it out. Um, and if you guys want me to check it out sooner rather than later, either comment it down below or go to my Patreon, like I said in the beginning. But yeah, um, I am curious though, what do you guys think about these two songs by one of these? So comment your thoughts down below and let's have a discussion about this. And also, before we end this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to my currently four patrons on Patreon. Omar Richman, Deadpool, Corby Dead, and Theo Rose Jellot Lee. Thank you guys for your support, I really appreciate it, it really means a lot to me that you have decided to support me and have continued to support me for such a long time. Hope you continue to enjoy my content and continue to support me going forward. Thank you very much. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, also check out the link in the description to my Wattpad where I post my stories because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you don't enjoy my stories or simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to my Patreon or to my coffee account where I can pledge support and help get the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine. You can still help me out in other ways like liking this video, subscribing to the channel and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye!